Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. This week as Lake Placid welcomes thousands of athletes to the Adirondacks to compete in the Empire State Winter Games, the Olympic Village is gearing up to mark a major milestone for Whiteface Mountain and setting its sights on, once again, playing host to the world. Here's our Jack LaDuke. Well, more than a half century ago, a new ski center was created on this snow cone mountain. Youngsters learned to ski here, World Cup events were held here, and an Olympics. It shouted out, welcome world, we're ready. A celebration for the nearly 5,000 foot high uprising was held in the Olympic Museum recently. The exhibit, honoring Whiteface Mountain Ski Center, is on view for the rest of the year. I think everyone has a connection to Whiteface regionally in some way, whether if it's where you learned to ski, if you worked there, if it was your first job when you were 16, um, if you were a ski instructor there, if that's where you're bringing your own children today, while they're learning to ski. So everyone has this, this connection to Whiteface and it's, it creates all these wonderful memories. Adding summer activity, like mountain bike riding and scenic gondola rides up Whiteface, increased its stature. Former manager Bruce McCauley worked at Whiteface for 32 years and saw big changes. Probably the gondola, the installation of the gondola in 2000 really changed the whole layout of the mountains. Lake Placid Olympic Museum staff cleverly designed some of the Whiteface exhibits as discovery pieces. So if you lift it up, and then you have the information, you can read more about Don Adams, who is the general manager, and the trail was named. I'm very honored to be here um, as the current, current general manager of Whiteface Mountain. Um, it's truly a part of who I am, and it's a part of who everyone in, everyone in this room has something to do with Whiteface Mountain. And, um, you know, I, it's been a passion for me, it's been a passion for all of our staff for years. Presently, Whiteface is confronted with a challenge of Olympic proportion. The two-time Olympic Village wants to host the World University Games, or FISU, in 2023. All athletes are university students between 17 and 25 years old. It brings in 2,000 winter athletes from 57 countries competing in nine disciplines. Whiteface could once again be called on to provide Olympic caliber trails, lifts, and services for competitive skiers. Recently, a FISU evaluation team was in Clinton, Essex, and Franklin counties. They graded venues for possible FISU game use if Lake Placid wins the bid. We're taking back all this information that we've got and we'll prepare a final report and give that to the executive committee members. There's 23 of them that will make a, a vote on the 2nd of March. And how much will that count? Toward making the decision. I mean, this is probably the final. This is, you know, this is the we're in the home stretch here, and uh, you know, our we got a great committee, and they will listen to what the the recommendations that we have. And uh, like I said, we've had a very positive time here in uh, in the North Country, Lake Placid. Everybody's been super welcoming. You have such an infrastructure left from the last major uh, major international uni uh, university Olympics. sports and the Olympics as well. You know, with Florida and all the stuff. So. You're really set up very well to turn the key and uh, be able to put on an amazing event that leaves a lot of social and economic legacies for the area. But some venues need upgrading to meet the FISU standards. That is not surprising since it's been 40 years since most facilities were made ready for the 1980 Winter Olympics. With thousands of visitors a year coming to the mountain, perhaps Whiteface will get a little face lifting to make her presentable for whatever big plans await her. That in itself is a worthy birthday present for a sprightly sextagenarian. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc at Whiteface Mountain.